Welcome back everybody, Pro Spartan Gamer here, continuing Season 1 on Don Bradman Cricket on the PlayStation 4. Having a fantastic time of it in the T20 so far, 4 matches played and 350s already for Spartan. Can he continue it in this episode 11 against North Hants? We're going to find out in a minute. Let's just see where Somerset is sitting, they've had 2 wins and 2 losses so far. Um, could really do with a victory in this one over bottom club North Hants. Can Spartan continue to impress? People are watching, but he's still a fair way off yet. Obviously only in season one, like we say, so I'm not expecting call-ups call too early. So without further ado, let's get straight into this T20 match. Lancashire Stadium. Bit of humidity, so I might tweak around a bit. Somerset v North Hamps. Couple pace bowlers. Willie always seems to cause us a little bit of trouble. Who's going to be batting first? I don't mind batting first. We can set the pace. We know that we've got score runs early in the power play if we get in in time. And North Hans are batting, so that's not going to happen today. We're going to be chasing a total. Can we restrict them? Hopefully we can. Early wickets and a little bit of a partnership. Not a big score at all, though. I think it's only about 120. Somerset will fancy their chances. And Spartan, there you are, averaging 49.5 already in the T20 is in. What is the match situation? Well, he's in with the spinner on. Just times it away for the first ball. Let's see what, so 16 for one. mid area area's pretty congested. Got to be careful we're off Keown. Whip that away, lovely. He's off the mark. Definitely two. Nice to get off and running. Obviously the form batsman. For Somerset at the moment, he's not that. That'll just be a comfortable single. That's good cricket. In with Trez, he scored runs quite heavily as well in the T20. That's the over gone. Cooper's the man out. They only need five, nearly six runs and over. So nothing too drastic here needs to be done. Who are we facing? Need to look at this field and sort out where the run scoring is. Men out through there. Cover is the vacant area, but just got to be careful with the nick off. Nice shot. Got him away this time, through the covers, pick up a couple more, pushing for free, and we'll make free, that's good running. Took a few balls there just to bed himself in a little bit, but he's got six off seven now. Trestoffic having a real goal then with a couple boundaries there and that over, putting Somerset firmly in front in this game at the moment. The run rate again is down to next to nothing. Another good shot, just a single, give Trez a strike. Good batting from Pierre, Peace Barton. Doing very nicely indeed again. Just looking to build an innings. Dressed off it going absolutely bands I hear. 19 off 9 for him. He really is hitting runs at will. We're just support act at the moment. Nice shot, pick up a single, nicely timed. Give Trez the strike again, move on to eight or seven. Just easy does it from Spartan. Run rate coming down a lot. Trez Stoffick took him to the cleaners to be honest. We've got Willie on which is always a bit of a test. Spartan will have a look at him. Punched him through the covers, two more. It's going to be four actually, it's the first boundary for Spartan. Lovely crashing cover drive, moves him into double figures. Lovely shot, not going to give Willie too much time to settle there. Waited for that, he had to, it was a slower ball. Carved away for a couple more. Probably could have pushed free, but they don't want to take any chances right on top of this game. 
50s up flying by here really through there again repeat repetition it's another four beautiful shot from Tre um not from Trez from Spartan not taking too many risks here just playing good cricket shots 18 Whipped it away fine for a single and we'll keep the strike. A good over 11 off it. 57 for one. Right in the box seat here, facing, chasing a very small total. Spinner on again. Men all in. That's four. I think that's four. No one out there. It's help yourself cricket, really. Couldn't not do it. Men all out. Men in real close. Slammed it through the covers. Third consecutive four nearly through the cover area there. No one in the cover area at all as you can see off Keown. That's four. That's racing away. Look at that. Half volley on off stump. Fielding is ridiculous here. I know they need wickets. But they're just making it easy for Somerset to rattle off these runs in no time. Half volley on off peg. Textbook king from Spartan. Really was. And the man is still still in tight. Hadn't really got that. The ball is chasing it. An easy two. Comfortable two. Ten off the first three balls. 50 partnerships up in no time. 25 balls between Trez and the Spartan. Change now. Man has gone out. One ball left. Can't get it away. 29 not out though. Off 20. He's coming and done just the job Somerset needed him to do. Or one ball left still. Straight back at the bowler. So the power play ends now. The field will be out. And we'll see what has to settle. But we are right in the box seat here. 66 of 1 only needed in 4 and over. Spartan will be looking. See what the field is. It's a long off. There's no one. Deep cover. It's a pretty good field to be fair. Put it straight into the gap and you should get two. Come on, Trez, turn and go. Good cricket. Saw the gap and picked it. That is very good cricket. And again, it's a man out there this time, so it's only gonna be a single. But that's all they gotta do now, just rotate the strike, spotting on the 32. Another very good knock in this T20. Great rotation of the strike. Between the pair of them there. Just milking it really. So Somerset down to only needing 45 now off this last 12.3 overs. Should be quite comfortable really. Willie in then. Right in. Into a packed field. Men everywhere. Lovely shot from Spartan. Tight single because he timed it so well. Six off that over, that's all they need. Well ahead of the rate here. Cruising to another victory, hopefully, in Spartan. At the forefront of it. Boundary is well protected everywhere though. So it's not going to be easy to get the runs in fours or anything like that.
Looking like he could. See how the maiden here now. Got it away, but it's taken five balls to get a single. That's been a tight over so far. And now we're on 34, 33 balls now. So ticking along at only a runner ball. That's good enough to win this game, though, don't forget. It is only a small target. In again, and Willie again. Runs coming a little bit harder there, here now. He's on to that. If he had timed it, it would have been four, but he's not. He's just got a single. Rotation of the strike has been the key here, though, just to get him home. It's been a good partnership. Down to 40 needed now. Could do with a boundary here soon. Runs have dried right up. Only three off this over so far as well. It's only going to be another single. Four off the over, which is okay. It's up with the rate, but we have had a couple overs a little bit behind. They need something like 38 now off nine overs, so still should be a comfortable ass. But the field is set pretty fair, and boundaries are being hard to come by here. Again, the field is set in a way that's going to be difficult. Get him away. Gonna have to push this. Oh, I direct it and he might have been gone. Really raced out to the man. It was a tracer from Spartan. Oh, now you see it. Trestovic is gone. He just hit a boundary. But he's gone for 37. Trying to finish this in style. It could be left for, for Spartan to carry us home now. Although Hildrift can sometimes come in and make the batting look simple. And score a big score. But another decent knock in the T20 from Captain Marcus Trestoffic. 37. There you see. Just tried to force the issue. Cloughed it. And a really good catch. And yet, look at that. Purple shoes on. He made the catch. Hildreth in. Good partnership between Spartan and Trestoffit though. They put on about 70 there. Important Spartan bats a little bit sensibly here unless there's options on the score. It's Mohammed back on. Mid wicket could be a place to target. If he can get hold of a couple. He's timed that one. It's definitely two. Go hard here. Easy to. Good running. He'll just like a little whip it between the stumps. Spot and no slates when he gets going. 31 needed. You had to go and fetch that. It was a real tough one. It's four runs. Managed to get on top of it. I don't know if he quite got it out of the screws, but he had enough on it and it's four, a precious four. First four for a long time for Spartan. Down to 27 now. Bowler over there. Might have to come look through the covers again. Good shot for one. Spartan moves on to a very good 44 again off 40 balls. Well worked innings in the T20 again. This format really is enjoying it this year. Love to be in at the end here if he could. Bring it home with a not out. No runs off the first three deliveries here. It's a good over again from Andrew Hall. Oh, we nicked. Nicked the real wide one. Chasing it. We've gone for 44. That's disappointing. Real wide one. It was there to punish. And we've just got a big edge on it. And the keeper's made a good catch. And Trustoffic and... Spot and both gone. No point challenging it. It was a massive edge. But a good knock. 44 from 44. Probably enough to bring the Somerset home here. In a game where runs have been hard to come by. He would have loved another 50 and a not out. It just wasn't going to be. Runs were getting really hard to come by. And he was missing a, quite a lot of it. And you see a big hit from Hildreth. He's not going to waste any time to have a go and try and finish this off. We lost a couple more wickets, but I think Somerset are home and host. Comfortable win. Trey going at the end. 
Hall gets man of the match for 38 and three wickets. You can't argue with that, I suppose. Spot and unlucky not to get one with a 44. That's another very good knock from Mr. P. Spot. And let's see what his average is in this now and see where he is and where Somerset are in the table and everything just to wrap up this episode 11. Keeping them, I mean, if he has one good innings in each one, then we're only going to do one innings per thing. Otherwise, it puts pressure on the next one being too long, to be honest. Glamorgan are up next. Somerset up into second place then. And if they can beat Glamorgan, they'll be right up there. We've never got through this group stage. Yeah, so Somerset in a good position. We've never managed to get through the group stages before. Um... Let's see how we're getting on. Any change in selection status? No. Um, what is our stats in the T20? 48. So the average has not dropped much. And that's 200, 242 runs scored now. That is fantastic. Strike rate would be nice to get that a little bit higher, I must admit. Um, we seem to get in, score runs quite quickly, and then fade away when the field goes out. Makes it very difficult if we go to the stats, um, let's go, I'm trying to think where to go to, statistics, Portfield has scored 333, but Spartan is now fourth in the run scoring charts, are the most run scored in the T20 this year in England, that is fantastic, and they've played a game more, don't forget, they've all played six in there apart from Rudolph, so Spartan having a very, very good time of it with 350s. Let's see. We'll have to come back in episode 12 to see if you can continue this great run in the T20 when we will be taking on Glamorgan. As always, thanks for joining us.